Well, he burst onto the big screen as the title character in the hit movie, Antoine Fisher. Then he fought off the forces in Captain America, the first Avenger. And tonight, actor Derek Luke is stepping out at the Tribeca Film Festival, debuting his latest flick. But first, Eric Luke is stopping by the couch for a little bit of a chat right now. So we want to welcome you to getting up this early on a Friday. We appreciate it. Hey. 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 Good morning. Looking at that beauty. How you oh, doing? Oh, thank so you. Sweet. See, now we love him. We now do. You can stay. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the glimpse of the film we're going to get to see tonight, Alex of Venice. That's exciting. Yeah, it is. It's a, uh, it's a film about family. And, you know, the great thing about independent films, you get the texture of, like, having a, a multi-dimensional character. And I, I, I love this character because it's not really about the position you're in in this film. It's about the layers you fill in, so it's 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 great. That's some really yeah. deep actor speak what mm. you're doing right now. Wow, let me, let me so fill it on you for you. Okay. <laughs> but you know you're a Jersey boy, so how yeah. many friends and family have asked you, "Can I get a ticket to the premiere tonight?" You know, is it cool that you're doing this I, close you know, to home? I, I love it because uh, first of all, a lot of films were made in California. Now they're getting made like New Orleans and yes. different other places. So when I come here, it's like a bid. It's an auction. <laughs> so it's like, who do you call first with your family? Right. And right. So I haven't called them back. Oh, yeah. no. Well, you, got to, you, you have to go somewhere for the holidays. You don't want to make people mad. So, yeah, you know. that's true. That is very true. And also another local is Chris Messina, right? Yeah. He's directing the film. Chris Messina is the bomb. I, you know, I, I believe that there's some type of uh, romance between me being oh. director, actor, director. You okay. know, my first film was directed by Denzel Washington. Unbelievable. And, uh, and then I did another film with Peter Berg. I just, I, I love being the language between another actor you just get each other right all right yeah. so tell us something about your role okay i play a guy uh, named frank he's a, an ambitious entrepreneur and he meets uh mary elizabeth's character and she's pretty much a workaholic and he's successful and what happens when you meet a workaholic and a successful guy, it kind of calms you down. Mm -hmm. You know, he takes the chill off you. He's just like kind of relaxed. So what I love about him is that you get to see different layers of what the success is. And Mary Elizabeth's character, she has this, this uh, chaos going on. I don't want to give the whole story right, away. Right, right. But um, I just love how he just... I call him, he's the massage gentleman in the story. Okay. So perfect. I'll leave it like that. Okay, great. Yeah. Now, wait, is Don Johnson in this film? Don Johnson is in this film, but he's killing it. Did you ever watch Miami Vice? I mean, honestly, you're too young to know that. I, I, I remember <laughs> Miami Vice because you know, Jamie Foxx did the... Yeah, uh, right. The remake. Yeah, so I, I looked it up. Him and what is it? Tubbs? Tubbs, yeah, 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 totally. yeah, yeah. No, they, they was cool. But Don Johnson is having, like, this great resurgence, and he's a wonderful actor. Yeah, but when you see him in this movie... He's killing it. I'm, really? I'm telling you, he's... I looked at this man, I was just like, wow. He, oh. he just... He was one of those scene stillers to me. So great. Yeah. All right, well, we just saw you in Baggage Claim, and that looked like fun. So are you yeah. planning on a sequel? You know what? Uh, romantic comedies I was kind of slow about. You really? know, I had, to, I had to get permission from my wife. <laughs> she actually was the one that wanted me to do them. So. I was going to say. Well, she is so supportive. She's here today. Yes, she's she helping is. out your wardrobe Aww. and she's tucking yeah, you in yeah, and all right. Yeah, she's so. keeping me proper. Oh, so. beautiful lady. Yeah. Aww. So any, if they called you, you would do it? Yeah. I With I would the do permission it. of the wife? I would do it. Permission of my wife. Uh, I really got the uh, romantic. Sophia in there instead of Paul Patton. Come on. Hey, that's a good <laughs> idea. I, li I like that. All right, we also saw you in Captain America: The First Avenger. So how cool is it, you know, to be a part of such an awesome uh, franchise there with the Marvel family? You know, Marvel is the uh, it's the bomb. It's like you get to grow up. You you know you love superheroes, then you get to grow up and be a superhero. Mm -hmm. And so to every uh, teen and all my nieces and nephew, I'm like you know I'm I'm cool. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm classic uh, now. You know? Yeah, so totally. I, I I love it. It's a great franchise. Any plans to do more of those or? Yes. Really? Yes. My my heart in becoming part of the Marvel family was to to actually become part of the family. And what I love about this the story is you never know who's who. So as you stay tuned, as you oh. be a, a committed follower in the movies, you know, get some wings and blossom. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This is maybe a little foreboding yes. here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you won many awards. You exploded mm. on the scene when you did Antoine Fisher. And again, yeah. you mentioned before you worked with Denzel Washington. So what was that like to work with him? That was one of your biggest, your first films, right? Yeah, you know, uh, Antoine Fisher was my first film. And again, I think there's some... 
some uh, beautiful romance and history. You know, uh, Denzel, obviously, he was an actor. Chris Messina, he, he's an actor. Mm -hmm. um, if you play sports, it's like being on a team and having the perfect coach. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think what makes a great coach is language. It's all about speaking. It's just like a, you know, a woman or a wife, and he knows when to give you the flowers. Right. You know, he knows when you need the chocolate. You know, it's just a subtle approach. It's not about being over-directed. So you might be directing sometime soon, too. Is that something in the future, maybe? It is. Before, Good. it was like neurosurgery, but now it's more <laughs> now so close it. to the just heart. Just like your buddies. You can do both. <laughs> yeah, so yes, awesome. for sure. Well, well, next time you're in town, you have to come back and visit us. But Derek Luke, thank you for coming to the couch. Enjoy tonight. And also, yes. we want to remind people about the film. So it is... Alex of Venice. Alex of Venice. It's premiering tonight at the Tribeca Film Festival. Um... We have a great cast, Don Johnson, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, she's killing it, Katie. Yeah. And so you. Many, oh, yeah, and, yes, and, and tickets are still available, right? Yes, yes. tickets are awesome. still available thank in Christmas so Cena. Yes, awesome. thank you.